Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, we're using Twister OS 1.8.3 and in Twister OS there are some really good pre-installed apps that are very useful for compiling different bits of software and getting stuff installed fast and if you're into your retro gaming which I know some of you are I've had some requests how to install certain things and one of them has been Quake well if you go into system on the Twister OS you'll find an app called PyKiss which is a little terminal based app that updates itself regularly and there's loads of tweaks and emulators and useful bits of compiling software um, but it's also got games and if you go down this list of games you will see things like the half-life for raspberry pi and also quake and if you go into quake there are three different versions so you've got quake 1 quake 2 and quake 3 and it will download and install all of these apps ready for you if you have the original software like i've got the pack files here for quake which i've taken from my original quakes um cd you just go in and find the pack files and remove them you can then drop that into the folder if you haven't got it it will search for them um, for you which is really really useful so go in and install and away you go and then if you go into your games you'll notice that I've got a few installed there and we can load up Quake single player new game boom and here we are in Quake just to show you that it runs nicely it's very smooth um, I'm not sure exactly what version of Quake this is running um, I was using dark places before but I've noticed since I've gone to Raspberry Pi 4 that dark places doesn't work anymore uh, I don't know why um, but this seems pretty smooth and uh, if you want to play Quake well it's there and um, what a classic game id software again oh being attacked by a dog um, must concentrate walk in quick bye 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 there we go so uh yeah little tip pie kiss very useful piece of software worth having a look into um and if you want to get some of your classic games running it's going to be the best way now you've got to remember that when you run quake originally it's going to be in 640 by 480 resolution which is was is native resolution so you'll have to upscale that and go into the video settings and play with those to get it to the 1080p marker um so that it matches up to your monitor uh, but there you go for those that are interested in getting quake up and running nice and simple twister os is the way to go it's just got lots of interesting little bits included and in system you have Pi kiss um, very easy to use and uh, well worth having a look at okay so that's our quick little video for today how to get quake up and running on your raspberry pi um, i'm using a raspberry pi 4 8 gig at the moment but you can you do this on different versions of the raspberry pi anyway hope this has been a help please uh, get in touch if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you soon